Eid al-Adha, also known as Bakr Eid or Eid al-Zuha, falls on the 10th day of Dhu al-Hijjah as per the Islamic lunar calendar, marking the end of the yearly Hajj pilgrimage, also known as Eid Qurban. Like the previous year in Shillong, Muslims prepare for the festivities that will commence amid stringent protocols during the pandemic. Eid al-Adha this year happens to be another major Islamic holiday in the shadow of the pandemic, curbing large gatherings of devotees at prominent mosques and other locations. Speaking on the occasion, Noor Nongrum, the Assistant General Secretary of Shillong Muslim Union, said that during such occasions, Eid namaz is being observed in normal times. However, it is not possible for such a large congregation now since the Muslim community will be greatly affected if there is an outbreak on such occasions. I think it's sheer bad luck for us because for last year and plus this year. But then at the same time, I'm thankful to God that we are alive, which is more important than celebration, to be alive. And of course, celebration will keep on coming. Despite of COVID, it has not dampened our spirit because we believe that God has better things for us in future. Of course, we have to pray. We prayed early in the morning at home within the family members. And that is how, of course, uh, even visiting elders and taking their blessing, it is not possible now. But maybe next year, Better luck next year and we will do it in a bigger, bigger way. Because these two years we are just saving it for the next year when everything is over and we all can have a big celebration. I would like, on this occasion, would like to call everybody, everybody irrespective of caste, creed or colour to come together on this occasion and spread the message of brotherhood. Nongrum also stressed the importance of vaccination where campaigns are being held at different levels by the Muslim community here in the city. Like, see, even the vaccination, it is the gift of God. No, see, if it wasn't, the scientists may try how much, but ultimately, if the will of God is not there, you would have never got a vaccine. The vaccine Last year, during this time, we were praying and praying, Oh God, save us, save us. And thus, after one year, He has given the vaccine. So I believe, okay, like as God says, you do and I will give. In Hindi, there is a saying, Dua bhi karo, dawa bhi karo, means you pray and you take the medicine also. Just that, if I'll say, God will save me and I will not give vaccine, that will not that will not happen even you see the very thing when we eat food the food is given by god but we have to take ourselves the food according to nongrum social media has been one of the factors for vaccine hesitancy in the state and media organizations have a big responsibility to dispel fears and doubts instead of sensational angles media has to Portray what is, of course, I know, ethically, by ethics, you all have to say what you get. But as a journalist, as a, as a custodian of the society, because you all are the fourth pillar, which means you all are a pillar of the society, you have to see what is good for the society. If it is bad, it should be said it is bad. But I don't think so, this vaccination is bad. And as, as a journalist, I think you all will be in a position to give a better, better information to the people. TNT Bureau.